Hi, everybody. Welcome to Sacred Body Studio. My name is Fabi. So we're going to start our mini yoga routine. Are you ready? So we start always with breathing. It's a couple of breaths. There are different ways of pranayama, the breath control. But this is just a simple breathing to help us just to move us into the present moment because sometimes our head can be all over the place. Just to concentrate us in the present moment. Help us to stimulate more the oxygen input. And also, the breath will help us to relax our muscles when we are moving, when we are stretching. So are you ready? You can lie down if you feel more comfortable. If you are sitting, make sure that your back is straight so your lungs can really expand and contract. Even if just lie down on your back. With one hand in your lower tummy and the other one in your upper tummy. Take a couple of breaths. Close your eyes. Feel the air coming in and out through your nose. Relax your shoulders, relax your face. Listen your breath, and the most important, be aware that your breath is absorbing from the lungs. It's not really a dragging from the nose, with the nose. These kind of sensations, no. It really is the lungs expand so you can go more deeper in, and then they release. Now we're going to start practicing with joy breath. The joy breath will help us to control more the diaphragm, but also the speed and the amount of air in and out to make a longer breath. So when, when you have your hand on your upper tummy, when we exhale, we will feel that pressure in that area. Be aware of that sensation. We're going to inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth with the sensation of fogging a glass. <sighs> like you are really going to fog a glass. Ready? So let's take a couple of those. Inhale. Exhale and make it longer, like if it's the sound, it was the sound of the ocean as well. Deep exhalation. Let's go. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Well done. You feel the pressure in the in the just below the ribs is your diaphragm. So now we're gonna do the same, but this time keeping our mouth closed. If you lose the sensation, come back to exhale through your mouth, and then you feel it again, which is the contraction of your epiglottis, and then back again with your mouth closed. So let's take a couple of breaths with your mouth closed. So let's go. Inhale, exhale. The sound is still there, but it's subtle. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and again, inhale, and exhale. Remember that everybody has a different rhythm, so we try to keep our deep at long breath and sometimes it crash with my instruction it's okay so are you ready so let's start we are going to start on all fours so come on to all fours remember in yoga we do a lot of things in our arms uh, hands position so when you are in this position our natural alignment will be pointing the middle finger forward for yoga we're going to point the index finger you can check our videos in common mistakes in yoga and this position of the hands that sometimes we are so used to do this that it's hard to kind of open a little bit wider our um, hands to feel more the sensation to move the elbows in and engage more your upper back, chest and arms muscles. So let's go ready. Index fingers pointing forward, shoulders above your wrist. Keep the same with hips, knees and feet. And from here we're just going to go to the Puppy. So we keep the hips above the knees, move our hands forward, and we just let the chest go down. Don't force to go down. Even if your elbows reach the ground, keep your arms straight. If your forehead is reaching the ground, look to the front to allow the chest go a little bit lower. And we hold here four breaths. Inhale and exhale. Keep your hands active. Let's go for three. Two, and just one more. 
slowly we move backwards onto child pose as far as you can move your bum down onto your heels bend your elbows move your palms together and move your hands just behind the head we hold for breath inhale four three two Just one more. Release. Back again onto all fours. Index fingers pointing forward. Elbows in. Curl the toes under. Push with your hands and your fingertips to lift the knees. Move into down dog. In down dog, we're going to inhale by lifting the heels. Curling the toes under at the maximum. Exhale. Heels go down without forcing your legs. And again, inhale. Heels up. Exhale. Heels down. Now let's go three and down, two and exhale, deep breath and exhale. Slowly you drop your knees back onto the floor, let's slide the right knee forward and the left backwards. And we're gonna go on to pigeon pose. Here, keep me your fists under your shoulders, lift your pelvis, kind of the sensation to arch in your back for more stretching your tummy. Have that sensation of pulling your pubic bone towards your belly button. Shoulders down for breath. Inhale. Exhale. Let's go for three. Exhale. Let's go two. And just one more. Drop your hands back again onto the ground. Push yourself all fours. Curl the toes under. Lift onto downward dog and we repeat. Inhale, heels up. Exhale, heels down without forcing. Let's go for three. And down. Let's go two. And down. Just one more. And down. Slowly drop your knees back onto the ground and we're going to slide the right, left knee, sorry, forward. For your pigeon pose, you can keep your heel under your bum or you can open it if you are used to, to this sensation. But if it still is not comfy for you, keep it under. Now, the back foot can curl the toes under or point in a way. Always look for adaptations that are good for you, that make you feel good. Keep your hips square, stretch your tummy, shoulders down. Let's hold for breath. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. Lifting your chest and your face tiny. Let's go for two. Just one more. Now drop me your hands back onto the ground. Move on to all fours. And from all fours, this time we're going to step forward right foot. You can keep your fist, your palms, or your fingertips on the ground. We're going to curl the toes under left foot, and we lift the left knee as far as we feel good. Never feel your stretches close to the, gro the, to the joints or groin area. So here, be careful that you don't feel too much the stretch at the back of your knee. Okay? So let's hold here for four. Extending your back. Three. Keep your tummy in. Two, be aware of your neck position. And just one more. Here we're going to drop the left palm on the ground. You can drop your knee if you feel more comfortable. And we're going to twist the toes to the right side. If you feel like it's good for you, you can lift the back knee. And we watch towards the ceiling. Hold for four. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three, two, and just one more. Drop your arm, drop your left knee. Keep your hands beside your foot or your fingertips, on your fingertips, your palms or your fist. We're going to inhale 
and exhale. We're going to rock the hips backwards, extend the front leg as far as we feel good. You can just extend tiny or we can go all the way and you need to flex here your foot. Inhale, we rock forward and exhale backwards. We're going to repeat. Inhale and exhale for now. No forcing. Inhale and exhale. Eight. Inhale and exhale. Seven. Inhale and exhale. Six. Inhale and exhale. Five. Inhale and exhale. Four. Inhale and exhale. Three. Inhale and exhale. Two. Inhale and exhale. Just one. Well done, everybody. Now we're going to move our foot at the back, swing the foot at the back, and we just go other legs. The forward left foot. Fist, palms or fingertips on the ground. Lift the back knee and we just hold here for four breaths. Inhale and exhale. Keep your tummy engaged. Let's go for three. Exhale. Let's go two. Exhale. And just one more. And exhale. Drop your right palm on the ground. You can drop the knee and twist. You can keep the knee on the ground or you can lift it to go to this lunge twist. We hold for four. Inhale. And exhale. Give your tummy in. Let's go for three. And two. Just one more. Now drop your arm, drop your right knee, and we got the rocking backwards. Half a split on the front leg. Inhale and exhale, we rock backward. Inhale, forward. Exhale, nine. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, laugh. Be gently with your body. Don't push hard for flexibility. Give it time to your body. Swing the leg backwards, back onto all fours, index fingers pointing forward, press with your hands, back onto down dog. Again, inhale, lift your heels, exhale, heels down. Let's go for three, down, two, down, and just one more, and down. Slowly drop your knees back onto the ground. And from here, we're just going to sit backwards, child pose, move your palms together, bend your elbows, move your hands behind your head. We hold four breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. Two. And just one more. And release. Raise your torso, and we're just going to go sit down on your heels if it's possible. If not, you can sit down on the ground. Other thing you can do is to use a block. So I have here a block. So you can sit down on the block, so elevate your hips, so it's more comfortable to sit down for some of us. But if it's still here, it's not comfy for you, just sit down on your bum. Keep your back straight, move your arms to the front, and we're going to move the right arm under the left. And we're going to try to move the top of the hands together. Just going to turn around, okay? And we're going to hold here. Now we're going to elevate the elbows. And we're just going to hold here for four breaths. Inhale. You can knot the hands if you want. And let's hold. 
Let's go for three. If the hands don't come closer, that's okay. One more deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. Release. Open your arms. Take a breath. Other side. So if the left arm go under the right, top of the hands move closer. If they are not going too close, doesn't really matter. If you can, not the hands, okay, but keep your fingers and your wrist straight. Try to don't bend the fingers or the wrist. Elbows up. Inhale, four. Exhale. Let's go for three. Exhale. Let's go two. Just one more. And release, open your arms. And this time we're going to roll our shoulders backwards. And then we're going to move to the tricep. So right arm go at the back. Trying to reach our upper body. And then the left one go under. If we cannot reach our fingers, we just you can use a belt or a towel. Or we just use the left hand pushing the elbow backwards here. To help us to stretch our tricep and our chest. Okay, so remember, always it's good to adapt. That will help us to develop and it's not going to put us under pressure. So we open here our chest, we hold four breaths. Inhale, exhale. Let's go for three. Exhale. Let's go two. And just one more. Exhale, release, roll your shoulders, and let's go other side. Ready? As far as you can go, you need a towel, or just need the hand at the top of the other arm. Inhale for four. Exhale, remember you can close your eyes. Inhale. Exhale. Let's go two. And just one more. And we release. We roll our shoulders. So you have more time. We're going to repeat again the sequence. If not, we'll see you in the next time. Okay? Thank you for joining us. So you have time. Let's go together to do it twice this routine. So come on to all fours. Keep your hips above your knees. Move your hands forward. And let's go to the poppy. Hold for four, four, three, two, just one more. Slowly come up, sit back, child pose, move your palms together, move your hands behind your head. Inhale, four, exhale, three, two, one. Release. Back again onto all fours. Curl the toes under, downward dog. And we go inhale, heels up. Exhale down without forcing. Three, down, two, down. Just one more, down. Slowly drop your knees on the ground. Slide right knee forward, left backward onto pigeon pose. Place your fist under your shoulders. Leave your chest arching as much as you can. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. Shoulders down, two. And just one more. Drop your hands back onto all fours. Curl the toes under, downward dog. Inhale, heels up. 
exhale, heels down. Let's go for the three, down, two, down, just one more, and down. Drop your knees on the ground, left knee go forward to the pigeon pose. You can place your feet under your shoulders to help you to elevate more your chest and lift your face as well. Let's hold for four, three, two, just one more. Back onto all fours, push yourself back onto the all fours position. Step forward with the right foot this time. We go on to the low lunge, fist or palms or fingertips on the ground. We lift the back knee, lift the chest, straight your back. Be careful with your neck position that we are not looking to the front. We are looking down to help us to keep the back, the neck aligned with the spine. Let's hold for four. Three, get your tummy, two, just one more. Now drop completely the left palm on the ground. You can drop the knee as well if it feels too much, and we twist. Open your arm, palm facing to the side, look towards the ceiling, and if you feel comfortable, lift the back knee, and we hold for four. Three, two, and just one more. Drop your arm, drop your knee. Let's go split on the front leg. Inhale, exhale, tilt backwards, flex your foot, and forward. Let's go for nine, four. Use your breath. Eight, four, seven, four, six, four, five, four, four, and three. And two, and just one more. Great, step backwards, we change the leg. Left leg forward, let's go to the low lunge, lift the back knee, and we hold here for four. And three, two, And just one more. Drop your palm, twist. You can keep the knee on the floor for four, three, two, and just one more. Release the twist, drop your knee onto the ground, and we go. Inhale, exhale, we rock backward. Inhale forward, and backward. Forward, backward. Let's go for a seven. Let's go for a six. Let's go five. Let's go four. Let's go three. Two. And just one more. And slowly we step backwards. We back on to all fours. We go on to down dog. 
we go inhale heels up exhale heels down let's go for three down two down and just one more and down drop your knees onto the ground and from here we're just gonna sit in and we do our arms stretch so let's go right arm under the left elbows up let's hold for four exhale let's go for three two and just one more Release, open your chest, take a breath. And other side. Elbows up. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. Two. And just one more. And we release at the back triceps. We hold here for four, three, two, and just one more. We release other side. Let's hold for four, three, two, one more. Release everybody. Roll your shoulders backwards, and we're going to end our session. If you want to repeat again the full routine, you just rewind. The hands on prey position. Inhale, move your arms up. And exhale through your mouth and drop your arms. Inhale. And arms down. One more. Hands back to prayer position. And we feel fantastic after our session. Thank you for joining us and hopefully see you again in our next video. Remember to like, subscribe and share and leave us a comment. And I want, I one question I want to ask you. Do you prefer the videos with the music at the background or you prefer to put your own music at home? Let me know. See you again.